22 housing units were constructed through the Build Together program under Phase 8 at Extension 9. Another 33 houses were constructed through the Sec Dwellers Federation of Namibia. Handing over the houses, Eras to Sutoni said construction of these houses is in line with the national housing policy approved in 1991. The Build Together program, Utoni says, is the main vehicle for the provision of low-income housing in Namibia. The Build Together program was decentralized to Okahawa in 1997, and so far more than 200 housing units were constructed at a cost of $8.1 million. I have been reliably informed that the Okahawa Town Council decentralized Build Together program revolving account balance is two million seven hundred thousand Namibian dollars, which is ready to be used for the construction of houses in phase nine, and the council has reserved thirty blocks in Okahawa Extension Nine for this purpose. However, these plots are currently only partially served, serviced with water and sewer, and once these plots are fully serviced with electricity and access roads, then phase nine will commence. Utoni says government, through his ministry, will continue to provide the much needed support to the families to acquire shelter and affordable land, especially in informal settlements. Senale Jacob spoke on behalf of other beneficiaries. It is indeed the cause of this corrective effort that we as the beneficiary of the decentralized and building together program, we are very happy today that we have a place of our own, which we call a home. Our human dignity has been restored. Thank you indeed, Okahawa Council, for giving us a service, a service and lab and a suitable loan, which we have used wisely to build our house, our beautiful house. Tanatenia Embody, NBC News, Okahawa.